So this is the wrap up for the live market open for Wednesday, March 9th. Uh, the mo market mood is not so good because of what we had yesterday. Chinese trade balance still weighs, uh, still um, doesn't look good. A fall of 25% in exports, fresh clouds over the global economy. After mood was already the mood was already better thanks to the NFP and the short squeeze in iron ore prices. Answering your question. <clears throat> also, yesterday we had Carney testifying uh, supporting the Remain camp, basically, even though he tried to stay not political, and he said none of his uh, statements are political, but of course everything is political in the real world. Um, it didn't really impact uh, the pound because it was not a surprise. Oil prices slumped again, blame China. In political news, things look more complicated for what markets want to see. That means Trump, the anti-establishment, won more victories in Mississippi and Michigan. Uh, Hillary Clinton, the establishment uh, candidate on the Democratic Party, won Mississippi, but surprisingly lost to Sanders in Michigan. Uh, still no real impact on markets, but uh, something to watch. The big uh, we have big uh, we have more primaries on the weekend and also next Tuesday. Um, let's look at currencies. Uh, Euro dollar is sliding in anticipation of the ECB support at 109.60, resistance still 110.70, further support 109 and 108.20, 107.70 and 107.10. I don't think we'll see huge movements today. Um, we'll see more movements tomorrow, of course, with the ECB. Uh, we might have last minute leaks, of course, but I don't think we'll get something new. Ho I hopefully, I hopefully be surprised but I don't expect that. Pound, we fell back to the previous range, 141.25 to 142.30. Um, expecting the manufacturing and industrial output at half past 10 uh, European Central Time, half past nine GMT. But I believe we'll have uh, moved the pound only in the half hour before the release and the half hour afterwards. After that, it will be market mood, Brexit talk, etc. Dollar yen, of course, weakening. The yen is strengthening thanks to the worsening mood in markets. 1.1220 uh, is support, but this is a very cho choppy pair. The line in the sand is the double bottom of 111, okay? On dollar yen, 111, very strong line of support. 113.10 is some kind of resistance, followed by 114, very choppy pair. Dollar cat is on higher ground under previous resistance line, which also now works as resistance, 134.60. Support at 133.70, of course, due to the fall in oil prices. Aussie dollar relatively holding its ground, even well as we speak, it's strengthening. <clears throat> we had it uh, rise last week on great figures in um, in Australia, and then weakening on this Chinese trade data, but holding up relatively strong. 73.75 to 75 is the wide range, and the Kiwi dollar ahead of the rate decision. A bit lower, 67.40, a range 67 to 68.20. Okay, events for today I mentioned um, UK rate decision, uh, sorry, <laughs> UK industrial output, rate decision in Canada, and that answers the question for Jax regarding pairs to trade today. I think it's a Canadian dollar because of the rate decision, because of crude oil inventories, because it's looking for a new direction after finding a bottom. Let's see if it was just a correction within the range within the trend, sorry, within the bigger trend of falling or uh, a change of direction. Everything depends, well, mostly on the Bank of Canada, but also on crude oil inventories for the Canadian dollar. Crude, uh, crude oil inventories affect the whole market, especially the level of production. Also worth mentioning just a bit, the UK needs their GDP estimate. More importantly, rate decision in New Zealand with follow-up testimony by Governor Wheeler. And more data from China, the inflation data has an impact on the Australian dollar. All in all, the focus today in the next 24 hours is clearly, clearly on commodity currencies. Okay. And that will be over tomorrow morning because we'll uh, during the night and then we'll begin talking once again, not for the first time. As promised, we'll talk all week about uh, Draghi, of course, also afterwards. All right. So, um, 
yeah so that's the show for today thank you everybody for coming and for the really really great questions i hope uh, we all uh, learned something together um um and wish everybody a safe and successful trading day um and we'll be here tomorrow explaining what we had in the rate decision rate decisions in canada and new zealand and other events in crude oil and of course a big big preview for the ecb last minute adjustments I can all just do small self-promotion and say that uh, i have a page on forex crunch concentrating all the bank estimates uh, all the relevant information from the ecb all the links you need to know so that's it for today have a great day today see you tomorrow and that's it bye bye